So let's talk about why the Bible says to test everything to make sure that it's good. In 1 Thessalonians 5.21, it actually says test everything and hold fast to what is good. 1 John 4, 1 says, do not believe every spirit, but test every spirit to see whether they are from God, for many false prophets have gone out in the land. Acts 17, 11 talks about how the Jews were more noble than the Thessalonians, that they would receive God's word with eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. So why does the Bible tell us to test every spirit and to test every situation and to test everything do not judge by physical appearance do not judge by what it looks like do not judge by what's right in front of you because if your adversary satan plays off of imagery satan is a deceiver satan plays off of appearance so he can appear to make things look one way and in actuality you're being deceived back to genesis what he did with Eve and the fruit. So the fruit was actually false teachings. Her eating the fruit, eating the false teaching, eating that false word that Satan gave her, allowed her to come into agreement with that. And she was deceived and then later gave that same bad fruit, that bad teaching unto Adam. So Satan's tricks have not changed. He also appears to you in people, places, and things, your desires, the desires of the flesh, the lust of the flesh. He is a deceiver and he plays off of imagery. This is why we were to test all things. So there was this one time last year, some of you guys know this story. The Lord told me to go give somebody a word and I looked crazy and I didn't want to do it. I was worshiping. I had my hair out in the afro. It was laundry day. I was moving from one place to the next and I just didn't want to do it. The Lord gave me an image of what the woman looked like. It was a young, beautiful, blonde girl, and he gave me the image of her. He gave me a vision. So I proceeded to get out of my car and to walk over to her car. As I'm walking up to her car, I'm looking in the car and it looks like an older white woman with black hair. I was like, I'm definitely not about to walk up to this car, but then I hear the spirit of the Lord saying to keep going. I finally got to the window of the car and the woman looked exactly like what I envisioned, what the Lord showed me in a vision before I walked over there. So that was a prime example of Satan manipulating a situation. But God allows him to manipulate the situation to build your faith. Are you going to trust him even though it doesn't look like in this moment what he said or what he showed you? Are you going to turn back or are you going to keep going? Are you going to stay steadfast on what the Lord said? Or are you going to believe that false word that the enemy gave you? Trust in the Lord. That's what you need to do.